Good morning everyone. How are you today? I hope you are well and good right now. I am Nikki Vanasan Shitting, your teacher for Introduction of World Religions and Belief System. Welcome to our class for the second semester. Today, we will be discussing about the element of the Islamic faith. So we have here our learning objectives. At the end of the module, you should be able to first cite prayers on places or symbols sacred to the Islamic faith. Number two, analyze the core beliefs and practices of Islam. And number three, explain how Islam influences and affects the life of its member. What is religion? Religion are born in the history and they gradually develop into the living tradition and effects of lives of the followers. From the rudimentary forms, religion continually evolved into complicated system replete with rites and practices recruitment and members necessary. How did Islam begin? Islam is monosystematic faith centered around belief in one God, Allah. In this regard, it shares some belief of Judaism and Christianity by tracing its history back to the patriarch Abraham, the ultimately to the first prophet Adam. All the prophets preach the same universal message of belief in one God and kindness to humanity. He worked first as a shepherd and then as a merchant. He was not happy but the people around him because of the superstitious and social and economic injustice. The people were worshipping many gods and had forgotten the message of Prophet Abraham to worship one God. How many Muslims are there? Islam spread quickly first throughout Arabia and surrounding countries and then throughout the world. There are 1 to billion, 1 point to billion Muslims in the world with 7 million in the United States. Only about 18% of the Muslims and Arabs and live in the Middle East. What does Islam mean? Islam is an Arabic world which means surrender, submissions, commitment, and peace. Thus, Islam can be defined as a path to attain complete peace through voluntary submission to the divine will. Who is Allah? Allah is simply the Arabic word for God. He is the same universal God worshipped by people of all faiths. The word Allah is sometimes preferred over God because it's neither masculine or feminine. Also, there is no plural for Allah. What do Muslims believe? Muslims have six majors, major beliefs. Number one, belief in one God, Allah, belief in the angels, belief in the holy place sent to all the prophets including Torah that was revealed to the prophets Moses, Bible was revealed to the prophets Jesus, the Quran, Quran that was revealed to the prophet Muhammad. Belief in all the prophets sent by the God including Noah, Abraham, Ishmael, Isaac, Jacob, Moses, Jesus, and Muhammad. Although Muslim believes in, in Isa or Jesus, they don't think of Jesus as the Son of God the way Christians do. Belief in the day of judgment and life after death. The best reward for, for, for performing good deeds is getting closer to God. And then the last one, belief in divine decree. This means that 
God is all powerful and nothing can happen without this permission. However, He has given human beings freedom to choose whether to be good or bad. And the end, everyone will be questions about how they live in this life. What are the five pillars of Islam? These are guides for daily life for putting beliefs and of Muslim into practice. Number one, Shahada or Declaration of Faith. To bear witness or testify that there is no except that there is no God except one God Allah and Muhammad is his prophet or messenger. Number two, Salah or Ritual Prayer. The five daily prayers are performed at dawn, dawn, noon and mid-afternoon, sunset and night. The prayers are offered in Arabic language and facing the direction of Kaaba, a black stone in Mecca. Number three, Zakah or Am stocks, giving 2.5% of one's wealth to the poor and needy annually. Number four, sun or what we call fasting. Muslim fast during daylight hours in the ninth month of, of the Islamic lunar calendar called Ramadan. The purpose is to remind people of the goodness of what they have and to show equality with the poor. Ramadan is a time for study and self-discipline. Hajj, primal, primal, pilgrimage. Muslim believes in making a pilgrimage to Mecca to the Kaaba at last at least once in their lifetime the Kaaba is believed to have been built by Abraham Abraham or Abraham and one of his sons Muhammad restored it to worship Allah for this reason it is very sacred place to Muslims what is the final revealed scripture a sacred text for Muslims. Muslims believe that the last revealed scripture sent by God is the Quran or Quran. It is speech of God revealed in Arabic language to Muhammad during his mission and 23 years. The Quran was written down by scribes and memorized during a lifetime of Muhammad. What were the contents of the Quran? The Quran. The Quran is a holy book for Muslims, revealed in stages to the Prophet Muhammad over 23 years. Quranic revelations are recorded by Muslims as a great word of God intended to correct any errors and prejudice books and holy books such as Old and New Testament. Origin. The Quran was re revealed to the Prophet Muhammad by God in Arabic. Some Quranic fragments have been dated as far back as the 8th and possibly even 7th century. The oldest existing copy of the full text is, for, is from the 9th century. Contents There are 114 chapters in the Quran, which is written in the Old Arabic dialect. What other sacred texts for Muslim, Muslim or Islam? The longest chapter of the Quran is a surah or Baraka Jakal with 286 verses and the shortest is surah or al Qatar Abundance which is, has 3 verses. The arrangement of surah does not correspond to the chronological order in which they were revealed. The Quran is sometimes divided into 30 roughly, roughly equal parts known as Jus. This division makes it easier for Muslims to read the Quran during the course of a month and many will read one just each day, particularly during month of Ramadan. Translations Translations of the Quran exist over four, 30 language, 40 languages rather that but Muslims are still taught and learn and recite it in Arabic even if, even if this is not their native language, they cannot converse in it. Translations 
are regarded by Muslims a new version of the holy book rather than as translations in the conventional sense. Memorizing the Quran At the time of revelation of the Quran, books were not readily available and so it was common for people to learn it by heart. Committing the Quran to memory acted as a great aid for the pre preservation as any persons who is able to accomplish this is known as Hafiz. Respect The Quran is treated with immense respect by Muslims because it is a creed word of God. While the Quran is recited aloud, Muslims should behave with reverence and refrain from speaking, eating or drinking or making distracting noise. Sona and Hadad. In addition to the Quran, the other sacred sources of Sona, the practice and examples of the Prophet Muhammad lives and Hadad report of what the proper Prophet Muhammad said or approved. Both the Hadad and Sona must adhere to a strict chain of narration that ensures the authenticity taking into account factors such as character of the people in the chain and continuity in narration. Reports that fail to meet such criteria will be dis disregarded. One famous example is that the scholar of Hadad literature Imam Bukhari, who traveled several hundred miles on horseback to acquire a Hadad. When he arrived, he saw the man that knew the Hadad deceiving his donkey into thinking there was grain in a sack in order to induce him to move forward. Imam Bukhari promptly lived without approaching the man because he was not willing to allow any individual with a questionable personality to join a chain of narration or contribute knowledge that would define the practice of the religion. That's all. Any questions, clarifications, additions? If you don't have any questions, please proceed or open your learning pad to answer your activity at www.kitesup.com or contact or call me at 926 Thank you and God bless.